Hello everyone. Thanks for the invitation and thanks for attending the talk. I'm Sanjeev Sur, a faculty in the computer science department at the University of South Carolina. And today I'm going to talk about our system, MilliCam, which is a handheld millimeter wave imager. This is a joint work between University of South Carolina and University of Wisconsin-Madison. The global demand for mobile data is skyrocketing and 5G promises to meet that demand. It is estimated that at the end of this year, we will have about 190 million 5G subscribers around the world, which is projected to increase by seven times in the year 2023. Now this growth is likely to continue and within just four years, we will likely have a 10 times increase in the 5G subscribers to about 1.9 billion. One of the key enabler of this 5G is this millimeter wave technology. Tiny antenna that operates on this wide bandwidth and small wavelength. And going forward to the future, as more 5G devices become affordable, it will likely accelerate the mass deployment of millimeter wave devices quickly. Now, such a mass deployment also bring opportunity to enable new Internet of Things applications, such as detecting fine grain gestures, monitoring vital signs, enabling sports analytics in the field. And in this work, we are interested in enabling imaging of concealed object using 5G millimeter wave signals. Now, there are many areas in which imaging concealed object has shown to be useful such as detecting hidden structures like pipes and electric wiring without drilling the wall, or detecting the moisture level of the wall that are invisible to the naked eyes, or even managing inventories like counting or detecting missing and damaged items without opening the package. And I'm sure Almost all of you are familiar with this kind of contraband detectors at the airport. These systems use millimeter wave technology to detect hidden contraband items. So can we bring such functionalities to commercial 5G smartphones in the future? Before that, let us take a look at how the imaging systems actually work. Consider this very simple example of uh, imaging this square shaped object using millimeter wave signal. To do that, a millimeter wave antenna sends a broad band signal using a wide beam width towards the object and each of those points in the object reflect back the signal. And the millimeter wave antenna can measure those reflected signals rapidly. Now because each of those points are at a little different distance from the millimeter wave antenna, some reflections will arrive early and some will arrive late. So if we can somehow measure the strength of those reflections at each different points, we will have a millimeter wave image. 
but here is the challenge the object is in two dimension but the measurement is in one dimension so many of those reflection points will be mapped to a same measurement point so what can we do well to overcome this challenge today's millimeter wave systems use a robotic controller to precisely move the antenna in a linear fashion and collect the two dimensional signal in space and in time and then this measured reflected signal goes through a series of signal processing steps to create a millimeter wave imaging two successive fast fourier transform followed by a matched filtering followed by inverse fast fourier transform now even if the object is hidden from line of sight using let's say a cloth we can still detect the shape of the object because millimeter wave signals can penetrate through the cloth but light cannot now no need to worry about the exact signal processing steps here these are pretty well known but if we can somehow design and implement such signal processing on 5g smartphone then we will have a handheld millimeter wave imaging system but it turns out that there are two challenges the first one is with a handheld motion error recall that imaging system needs to move the antenna precisely in a linear motion but when you move it via human hand there will be motion errors for the second challenge of unknown object location the object could be hidden from line of sight so without knowing the object location the quality of the image would be degraded severely so throughout the rest of the talk i'm going to focus on these two key challenges and what we did to solve them so why handheld motion error is a challenge to millimeter wave imaging recall that a millimeter wave imaging system needs to move the antenna precisely and they use a robotic controller and this is the kind of image that we get when the movement is controlled and precise so what if we replace the robotic controller using a human hand we get this kind of image so what's going on here why the image is so distorted well as you can imagine that when you move the antenna using a human hand the motion is not linear and this kind of nonlinear motion error can severely affect the imaging quality and degrade the the quality to distort the image so what can we do well without discussing too much of a detail the tracking sensor inside the smartphone like gyroscope and accelerometer can be used to measure this error vector and then we can plug in this error vector smartly in the image processing algorithm to produce an error corrected image now of course there are many more steps involved in this process which i am omitting here but i would encourage you to take a look at our paper as for the second challenge of um, unknown object location why it would create an issue in millimeter wave imaging well under a controlled imaging setup the area to image is known and thus the system also know a rough 
location of the object. However, for the handle imaging, since the object could be hidden in line of sight, we won't know the location of the object. But why is it a challenge? Well, to understand that, we use this uh, uh, model gun, hide it using a cloth, and then image it using our system. And as you can see, that when our system knows the location of the object precisely, the image is crisper and uh, more focused on the object itself. On the other hand, when we don't know the object's location, the image is blurry, defocused, and also the shape cannot be determined accurately. So what can we do? How do we go from here to here without knowing the object's location? For that, we propose an auto-focusing algorithm that can generate a high-quality millimeter wave image without knowing the object's location. First, we generate a millimeter wave image with an arbitrary imaging center, let's say XC and YC. Now, because this XC and YC could be far away from the actual object's location, it produces a blurry, defocused image. Under this blurry image, we can still determine the cluster of reflection and the rough location of the object by estimating the centroid of the cluster. And then we can use this estimated centroid to refine the imaging center and with the new image center, improve the image quality Now this process can iterate over time to get a better image until we have a PSNR improvement of not more than 3 dB. PSNR, peak signal to noise ratio, is a well-known metric to understand the quality of the image. And thus, this autofocusing can generate a quality millimeter wave image even without knowing the object's location. Again, there are many other steps involved in this process and uh, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. We implemented and validated our algorithm on a handheld custom-made mobile millimeter wave platform that we designed ourselves. This platform is IEEE 802.11 AD standard compatible and it is actually a repurposed of the shelf communication device. Since the current 5G smartphone do not allow us to measure the signal reflections directly, we had to use this custom made platform. But in the future, when 5G smartphone will allow us to measure the reflections directly, we can validate the algorithm there. Again, I encourage you to take a look at our paper for more information on this custom-made platform. To start with, we used uh, basic shapes to understand how well we can discriminate the shapes using our imaging system. First, we use this square object with different lengths and breadths and image it. And as you can see, when the object is very small, it is hard to distinguish uh, or determine the shape of the object. We also use different other shape like circular and rhombus 
and again when the objects are very small the shape discrimination is challenging however for a sufficiently large object we can not only discriminate the shape but also measure their dimension accurately also to understand the errors in estimating the shape's dimension we use different object shape and this plot x axis shows different objects with their true dimension and the y axis shows the dimension estimation error this black bars show the average length and breadth error of our dimension estimation and as you can see for larger objects the estimation error is smaller these white bars also show the dimension estimation error for the area of an object and again for larger object the estimation error is very small less than 4% only we also tested our systems to image multiple objects and for example this shows two metal object placed at about 2 meter away from the imaging systems with different length and breadth placed uh, with a gap of about 13 cm and the millimeter wave imaging shows that we can not only discriminate the two objects and estimate their dimension but also estimate the gap in between accurately we tested our systems to image more complex objects like this model gun and by placing it inside a school bag although the quality of the image of the gun when it is placed inside the bag with books is not that high but we can still determine the orientation of the gun and also discriminate between the butts and the barrels of the gun in the future more advanced image processing technique like power adaptation and exposure correction can improve the image quality further so to summarize the talk wide bandwidth and small wavelength of millimeter wave signal can enable high precision c3 imaging but handheld motion error an unknown object location can affect the image quality severely millicam is a system that employs sensor based error corrections and iterative autofocusing to overcome the challenges and it is a first of a kind system to enable high quality c3 imaging on 5g devices so with that i would like to stop here and i would be very happy to take any questions now thank you very much